Gavin Smith and Gavin another great effort uh, for you and the guys tonight but you just come up a little bit short uh, I know these probably get starting to get a little frustrating for you guys to have games end like this yeah it's definitely been tough here the past few games we've had a lot of really close games and just haven't come out on top that's one big thing we need to start working better on here is just finishing the games. We're playing good throughout, but we just got to be able to finish these games here late, especially late in the season with postseason coming up. That's going to be big. Staying positive through all of this, it seems like you guys really are. Yeah, it's really big because like we've been improving greatly, which is good always throughout the season. Even though we haven't been coming out on top most of the times, it's always good to improve. And we play in a tough conference, and so some of these games are just demoralizing, getting beat over and over, but you just got to keep looking at the positives, keep getting better day to day, and that's all we've been focusing on. You mentioned having to close out games better. Where do you feel like you guys need to improve there? Uh, free throw shooting for sure. We're just struggling there from the line. Those are easy points we can get. And then just finishing at the basket and being able to take care of the ball are all big things for us because putting points up and not getting turnovers, that's always big to maintain a lead and keep a game down the stretch. You guys led most of this game. How were you, how were you feel like, did you feel like you guys were able to execute offensively and what worked for you? Yeah, we were doing good offensively, just being patient, taking good shots, not forcing anything there. And it's just big for us, you know, <clears throat> like you said, we were starting to slow down in the second half, just weren't getting to the rim as much, not getting as many, able to finish, and then we went to the free throw line, couldn't make those. So it's big, we just got to keep pushing the ball and getting to the rim and making those plays. How was your defensive effort, do you think? Oh, pretty good. Holding them to, uh, I don't even know what it was, like 40, 50 some points, that's not bad. I mean, we just gotta be able to score the ball. That's gonna be big for us coming down the stretch. Our defense has always been pretty good, but our struggle has definitely been scoring the ball. You guys get a little bit of a break now. You got IKEA Manning, a big conference rival, coming in Tuesday night. What do you gotta do to go get a win there? Yeah, they shoot the ball a lot really well, so we just gotta play good defense, box out get hands in the face when they're shooting because they're going to shoot a lot of jump shots and just not letting them get a ton of boards and second chance points. And then being able to push the ball, like you said, they, they're kind of running the zone, which is tough for us. So we just got to be able to push the ball and beat that down the court sometimes. Well, I tell you what, Gavin, don't go anywhere here after the interview. I got to get a picture of you. You're my motor and player of the game. I hadn't officially announced it yet, but I just did now. So great game for you. Appreciate, appreciate you joining us here. And uh, we'll catch up with you again here in a moment. Thank you. You met Gavin Smith. We'll get head coach Coleman Mullinex over here into the uh, post game area and we'll get coach to join us and coach I just said to Gavin these, these kind of games probably getting a little bit frustrating a little bit disappointing you guys play well just not able to kind of close this one out tonight but it seems like the guy staying positive through all of this kind of what's your take on tonight's game yeah it is frustrating losing close games as you mentioned that's my take <laughs> is that it's 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 frustrating uh, in terms of in terms of our guys, you know, we're they are uh, uh, competitors, and we do a good job of, of moving forward after a loss. You know, uh, it kind of maybe takes them a night like I know it all. You felt being quiet on the bus home, things like that. Uh, but we're always ready to, to bounce back and, and perform the next day. We've done it 11 times so far this year. This will be our 12th one that we have to turn around after a loss. So I'm confident uh, we'll be able to do that. Had some good looks, I thought, tonight. Able to get to the rim when you guys needed to. Uh, just seemed like another one of those nights where shots just didn't fall, especially late. Yeah, I thought that we did get pretty good looks. I was. Yeah, I, I was pleased with our with our main offense, our ability to just pass the ball, especially first half. And credit to them, they are they they're a well coached team, really good athletes. Uh, it should probably look like that. Have us have more success early, and, and, and a good team's going to correct things and be able to to put out some of those fires that we created early. So credit to them. But yeah, we I thought that we had good looks early and really good looks throughout the game. Just yeah, weren't able to, to score enough of them. Outscored by 10 at the free throw line. Uh, you end up losing by four. Um, that, that's got to be tough. Uh, you guys just don't get to the line a ton in the games the way it looks. Yeah, that's been a, a big, and I think that's a huge weakness of our team. Um, I think that's, I know that's maybe the biggest weakness of our team. Especially now that the past few games we've cleaned up turnovers a little more. We've been around 10 for a few games in a row and, and about halfway through the season we were averaging 15, 16, 17. And, you know, with, with us improving that, yeah, I think that free throws are our biggest weakness right now. We miss them, we make them down the stretch. I mean, we have, we have silly fouls, put them, put them at the line, they make two free throws. 
turns into the fouling game late. They make all their free throws. It's hard to it's hard to come back and hard to win. Uh, help help them things like that. And, obviously give them those chances. Held them though to 52 tonight, so you're pretty happy with the defensive effort? Yeah, I, I, I was. I was happy with our with our defensive effort. I think that, um, yeah, we gave up a couple, we gave up a few um, drives early where we just were closed, closed out late. A um, couple offensive rebounds that are tough, just long, just long rebounds, and they do a good job passing the ball. And after that, we're chasing for the rest of the possession and out of position, and they get a score. But overall, yeah, I was I was very pleased with our with our uh, defensive effort. We knew that it was going to be a true test of how of us as defenders because it's the way they play. It's very vanilla. It's just athlete versus athlete. They spread the floor like we do on offense. They have one guy in. They don't run a ton of actions. They just pass. They cut and they try to get get by you. And I thought we did a pretty good job. I can Manning now at home Tuesday night. Uh, what are you looking at in that matchup? Yeah, well, we played them recently, and yep. we had we had turnovers were kind of my consensus on the on the, the game. What was our biggest weakness? And I think that that we will uh, we've worked on some stuff, and with you know, our their zone, we struggle a lot with uh, to to score, and we turned it over a ton against it. We've been working on things like that ways to improve that in practice and so I'm confident that we can um, uh, fix that and be able to put ourselves in the game but above all Tuesday is, is going to be about our seniors it'll be senior night and it's it's always really important to me that we that we send our seniors off with a with a with a great effort right I mean I a, a win is, is sometimes too you, you can't necessarily control that because there's a ton of things that happen that you know go into winning and losing but the one thing we can is is our effort yep. uh, and that's one thing about um, our team that I don't think anyone can question I know that I certainly don't I think that is something that regardless of how much basketball you've ever watched or whatever sport it is I think it's really easy to, to judge effort uh, I think that we play, we play hard. I think that we give ourselves a chance in games where maybe we're less talented than the other team because we play hard. Did Gavin tell you he won the effort award today? No, congratulations to him on that, yeah. Yeah, yeah so every day in practice, every game, we, we nominate an effort award. Um, and I keep track of every single one throughout the season. And that's what his teammates always voted on by teammates. Um, yeah, Gavin won it tonight. and. That's usually who, if, if you're covering us, that's usually who you get, whoever was, was voted on um, for effort award. And so, so credit to Gavin tonight. Uh, that'll be the biggest thing moving forward Tuesday is we just got to keep playing hard and, and uh, uh, keep competing. Well, Coach, appreciate you joining us here tonight. Hopefully you get things turned around quick. These guys are working hard. We know it. You guys will get things rolling come playoff time. Yes, sir. Appreciate the coverage. You bet. Head coach Coleman Mullenix again with the Ottoman boys. They fall here tonight to Caminita by a final of 52-248.